Hi Dexter, along with this handy travel guide, I wanted to send you off with a video with five terms that you can use while you're over in Thailand. The first two terms are individualistic versus collectivism cultures. An individualistic culture is kind of like here in the United States. It's defined by you put your individual needs ahead of the group's needs. So in short, it makes us sound kind of selfish, but it's not as bad as it sounds. A collectivistic culture is like in Thailand. In Thailand, they're going to be more willing to put the group's needs ahead of their own. So that kind of just makes them a little more passive and they're going to be a little nicer because they're trying to do things better as a whole versus as what's good just for themselves. The third term is paralinguistics. This is the study of linguistics and like how things are said. So that includes tone, pitch, volume, speed of the way you talk. So when you go to Thailand, talking very loud and acting really crazy is kind of frowned upon. Here in the United States, we're not as big on that. We can act crazy and loud and rambunctious in public areas, but there it's not as common. So make sure when you're there, be careful of your tone and your pitch and how loud you talk because they sure are paying attention. And making sure that you don't act too crazy is going to save you a lot of embarrassment. The fourth term is gestures. And it sounds exactly the way it is. Gestures, we use them every single day, whether it be giving your friend a thumbs up, using the peace sign, but sometimes we're not used to the same gestures that other countries are. Here in the United States, we tend to avoid eye contact with people we don't know. We don't necessarily smile at them because we don't know them, we don't feel the need to give any gesture to a stranger. In Thailand though, they're known as the land of smiles. So be ready to get lots of eye contact, lots of smiles, and make sure to return those smiles because it's kind of rude when you, someone smiles at you and you don't smile back. So get out of your comfort zone and get ready to do some gestures that you're not used to doing here in the United States. The fifth and final term is the avoiding strategy to conflict. This is exactly how it sounds as well. When there's a conflict, people in Thailand are probably going to try to avoid it altogether just because of how they are a collectivist culture, so it's better for the group just to kind of let the conflict go. And here in the United States, we see conflict as productive, so we usually address it right away. Versus in Thailand, they are not going to address it because it's not seen as productive, it's seen as it's going to just um, create tension and make things worse. So they're probably not going to confront you when they're upset. Maybe they'll give you a gesture like a bad look or something. 